welcome back to another video today i'm going to be making my version of puerto rican beans and here are my ingredients i'm going to be using pink beans this is the large can um tomato sauce um the yellow cap of the adobo garlic powder onion powder two packets of sazon goya sofrito some cumin oregano um onion and I'm gonna use two large potatoes. And usually I like to use the butternut squash too, but I don't have any today. And I also like to throw in some ham or some Vienna sausages, but this is just what I have today. And um, I don't use olives because I do not like olives, but if you like olives, you can throw them in there too. So let's get started. Okay, so we're going to get started. I'm going to turn my flame on to medium. I'm going to use some olive oil, just a little bit, you don't need too much. Uh, let me get my spoon. And what we're going to start with is our sofrito. So I'm just going to put like one, two tablespoons of sofrito in here. I'm going to add my onions that I diced. Mix it all in there. My can of tomato sauce. Um, I'm just probably going to do like half the can. Okay, we're going to mix this all around. my two bags of sazon. We're gonna do a teaspoon of adobo. So I'm just going to eyeball this. <laughs> Onion powder, I'm going to do a teaspoon. And then here is my garlic powder, we're going to do a teaspoon. Stir it around. I'm just going to eyeball my oregano, like a teaspoon. And then we're probably gonna do like half a teaspoon of the cumin. And let's stir this all around. And then I have already, um, what I like to do is I like to kind of wash these. Um, I don't use the liquid from the can. I don't know, I just prefer to wash mine. Then we're going to stir this around. Ah, I always forget one ingredient and it's cilantro, but I don't put that to the end. And then I'm gonna add two cups of water to this. So we're just going to let this simmer for a bit and then we'll add our potatoes. I've already um, diced these and I soak them in water so they don't brown. Then once this starts to bubble a little bit, I'm going to toss in my potatoes. So we'll be back. So since I'm doing beans, I might as well just show you guys how I make my white rice too, the Puerto Rican way. So I have five cups of the Goya medium grain and I already washed these. And here I have some olive oil and some salt. Okay, 
Okay, so I'm gonna turn on my flame to medium high. I'm going to add in my washed rice, five cups. And to five cups, I'm gonna use five and a half cups of water. So I'll be back with the water. All right, so that's five and a half cups of water. to stir that around. And then what I like to do is I like to take my big spoon and I just fill it up, the spoon, with um, oil. Stir that around. Like a spoonful and a half. I know everybody does this different. Um, some people like to use boiling hot water, um, but this is just the way I make mine and I always made it this way. And then I'm going to take my salt and I'm gonna do a tablespoon and a half, like that much. It's up to your own preference on how salty you like your rice. Again, um, my palate's a little bit on the saltier side. So we're just going to have the, meat, the heat on medium high and we're going to wait till all the water evaporates um, and then we're going to close the lid and let it cook for 20 minutes. Do not lift up the lid, okay? So we'll be back. Okay, so let's check on our beans. get my fork. Okay, let's grab a potato. Let's see. And, yep. It's ready. Once you can poke into your potatoes, your beans are ready. So I'm still going to be cooking some rice and some pork chops, so I'll plate it up when everything is done. So you want to turn off your heat and put the lid on. Okay, now that all the water is coming, uh, is evaporating and the rice is coming up, what you want to do is stir it. Lower your flame to medium low. Make it nice and tight. And then I put the lid on for 20 minutes. Then we'll come back and it should be all done. All right guys, so it's been 20 minutes. And let's stir our rice. I'm gonna turn off the heat because our rice is done. The reason why I 
always do like an extra cup of rice is because majority of the time some of the rice gets stuck to stuck to the pot and so if you just make a little bit then you don't have a lot of rice and it's normal that your rice gets stuck to the pot okay so i'm just going to give it a little taste And it's perfect. So I'm not gonna eat right now, but I'm gonna put the lid back on. And if you're still cooking, just leave the lid on and leave it alone. It'll be just fine. It's not gonna overcook or anything. You have your um, um, fire off, okay? So, but me, anyways, I like to stir it and then leave it in the pot for like 10 minutes anyways before I serve. Okay, here is how I plated it, my beans. I usually like it over my rice, but I'm just trying to do a presentation for you guys. My Puerto Rican beans with my white white rice, my sweet plantains, and some pork chops. Okay, so here are my beans. Get some of that potato. Mmm, my rice. I like to mix the beans and the rice together mm, mm, mm. so good and then have you ever tried a sweet plantain so good it balances all the salt salty stuff with the sweet plantain mm, mm, mm. so delicious I have some pork chops right here. Mmm. This is absolutely amazing. Thumbs up. So if you guys haven't already subscribed to my channel, go subscribe. Give me a like and a share and until next time i'll see you guys later